planning on flying anytime soon, you might want to reconsider that great deal you saw online. Yeah, the Better Business Bureau says fraudsters are jumping at the chance to scam pandemic-weary travelers. Here's Bryce Moore with more in our Action Line Consumer Alert. With travel restrictions lifted, people are starting to fly more often. Passengers are prepared for long lines in crowded airports, but the Better Business Bureau says they should also be paying attention to airfare scams. Restrictions are lifting. People are tired of being stuck at home. So they want that vacation. People are gonna go look for that good deal. That's what they want. They want a, they want a great vacation, but they don't wanna spend an arm and leg. So they go searching the internet. The BBB says there are a couple of travel scams to be on the lookout for. One that sends the customer a confirmation message without a ticket, and another that asks the customer to cough up a little extra money to complete their booking. So then they pay them more. So now they've already paid one cost. Now they're paying this other cost. And what they're trying to do, first of all, is just trying to milk you for everything you have as best they can. But a legitimate business, that's not how they do business. Now, there are ways to avoid being a victim of these high-flying scams, and it starts with researching new companies. Do a quick web search for customer reviews or ask people you know if they've worked with the company before. And always do a double check of the website's URL you're using before entering payment information. When purchasing from a third party, make sure you know who that third party is and that you've done your research on them. Anytime you purchase online with a company you don't know, it's a higher risk. That doesn't mean they're not a legitimate company, it just means you don't know about them. You won't be able to get back personal information shared on the web. But a last word of advice from experts, use a credit card for online purchases. Fraudulent charges on a credit card can usually be disputed, unlike other payment methods. For more information on protecting yourself from these types of travel scams, head over to our website, khon2.com. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. And if you need help with a consumer issue, call Action Line at 591-0222 weekdays from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. or email actionline at khon2.com.